I've told you this off off air. I'll say it here again on the air. You just be keep being you, and you're 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 going to be just fine. And, and here's a perfect example because this is you. This was a total you when Rex Ryan went down uh, went down the path uh, on the Cleveland Browns on get up the other day, and your reaction was what we call priceless. If I, I have Odell well, Beckham, Jarvis Landry. Nick Chubb and and this Baker Mayfield, yeah, I know he's overrated as hell. But Whoa! I'm like this. Here's the the other. Uh, what, Whoa! What's in this team though is you have no tackles. <laughs> that was a, you went double woe, Pat. You went double woe there. Yeah, listen, I respect the hell out of Rex Ryan. I think since he's gotten on TV, too, his teeth are fantastic. He's got a magnetic tan. I like the fact that Rex Ryan's family is one of the greatest football families in the history of football. I respect everything he says. But, man, that shot at old Baker Mayfield came out of left field, and I just couldn't help myself. I mean, obviously, I have no coos in the booth. People know that. That's why the NFL refused to let me call any games this year. Very <laughs> thankful that ESPN did but in those studio shows I don't know when I'm supposed to talk and when I'm not supposed to talk and I just couldn't let it happen like whoa wait a minute Rex Ryan let's not be burying a guy just because he shotguns beers at baseball games and he drives around on power recliners with Stone Cold Steve Austin and he's already in commercials and all this stuff I don't think we can call a guy overrated yet he's only 17 games into this thing I and it, it blew my mind and now it's a talking point throughout the entire week i could have never guessed it it just i was mind blown i was baffled rich and that was just a very natural reaction listening to my brain spill right out of my mouth when i probably wasn't supposed to talk no but you, i think most people had that reaction because um no one was calling him overrated last year and he's still the same guy the question is is what is up with the browns pat do you have a theory on that subject well, I think it's one of those things where you get new weapons, you get new toys. There's a, a new head coach. Now, granted, Freddie Kitchens has been around Baker since the beginning. Drew Stanton, also a veteran backup quarterback, has been in that uh, offensive meeting room and quarterback room helping out with the play designs and play calls. But I think there's still a lot of feeling out period. And the thing with Freddie Kitchens is whenever you get somebody like Odell Beckham, on your team, you feel obligated to try and make it happen for him. And I think he comes from that Bruce Arians offensive mind. And I got a chance to watch this with Andrew Luck whenever he was young. It's a big time, no risk it, no biscuit type operation. You're going to have your quarterback sit back there. There's going to be a lot of routes, 10 plus yards down the field. So you kind of got to let them happen and let the plays happen. It's something that can pop off deep, but if you don't have an offensive line and granted, there's no offensive line that can really stop Aaron Donald. I mean, the guy is just a, genetic freak and a monster but if your quarterback starts feeling the pressure a little bit you're going to dip out of those plays so you don't get your ass kicked on national television and i think right now they're still trying to feel it out they're still trying to figure it out fourth and nine draw call definitely suspect i think everybody would argue that but i think Baker is a big-time momentum guy, a big-time mojo guy, and I think once they hit a sink, they have a real chance. But the, the overrated comment for me was just like, hey, we're 17 games into this thing. I think Peyton Manning had no less than 150 interceptions in his first 17 games, and he turned out to be pretty good. And so that was my reaction to that. But I think the Browns have a chance to turn things around. And I also enjoy and like the fact that Odell Beckham Jr., for everything that's ever happened to him and been said about him, from proposing to kick a nets to all the other stuff that happens off the field, he had a chance there to really turn into a prima donna after that. I mean, and I think a lot of people would expect that whenever you're only targeted one time in the last four series of a very close game, not targeted at all in a first and goal situation, and instead he took the high road. I, I think they really believe in themselves over there. I think they just need to get a little bit of momentum, get a little mojo, find a rhythm, and I think whenever that happens, they're going to be okay, but you got to remember, this franchise, they couldn't even drink Bud Light for the last two years because they were locked up until they got a win. <laughs> and they Baker's, still got a lot of work to do, Baker's, but I like what they're doing. Baker's the one who unlocked it too, Pat McAfee. And, you know, the issue is for the Browns is this is not the week to get back on it. I mean, they're going to go into Baltimore, and I think they're going to get thumped. I really believe that. I love the Ravens, and the Ravens last week went ahead into Kansas City and – was going for it on on uh, for two point conversions like it was going out of style. There there were analytics, their their heads off, and they just you know got got Mahomes. I mean, I think a lot of people are finding out 
they're going to get Mahomes, and now the Ravens are going to perhaps hand it to the Browns. That's my my prediction for this weekend. You know, I don't think that's going to happen if they're passing the ball 43 times, though, with Lamar. And I enjoyed listening to Lamar Jackson talk about how he hates running. And I think that's a smart move, by the way, because history tells us that quarterbacks that are a lot of running normally don't last long. I enjoyed watching Lamar the first couple of weeks. He passed the ball 20, ball 20 times the first week, had a perfect passer rating. Everybody was like, wait a minute, this running back has become a precision passer. Then the next week he passed it 37 times, and then his last week 43 times because they thought they had to keep up with Mahomes. I think Lamar Jackson and Greg Roman are still trying to figure out what all they can do and what they can't do. But I I like that Ravens team. I like the defense. I like the toughness and the yes. attitude, not only of the organization, but the city. I think that's going to be a very tough game, but that's another AFC North game. Now that's a big time game for the Browns. I wouldn't rule them out of it. I think they have a chance, but I do like what the Ravens have been doing as well. For more of the Rich Eisen show, tune to audience channel 239 on direct TV for free on BR live or download the Rich Eisen show app.